Hey guys, welcome back to Algo Explain. This is David Kemp, and I am bringing you a level 8 problem from Code Wars. This is part of the first look series where this is the first time I'm taking a look at this problem, so you'll see me solve it, you'll see my thought processes from the start. And so this one's called Number of People in the Bus. Um, let's go ahead and read this. Number of people in the bus. There is a bus moving in the city and it takes and drops. It takes and drops some people in each bus stop hmm. it takes and drops some people in each bus stop at each bus stop mm, anyway you are provided a list or array in js or of integer array each integer array has two items which represent number of people get into but dang i is it just me or is the grammar on this kind of difficult each integer array has two items which represent num a number a number of people getting into the bus, the first item, and number of people get off the bus. Getting off the bus. Gosh, I wonder who wrote this. This guy. <laughs> Not too good with grammar, maybe, or maybe just me. Maybe it just me. The first integer array has zero number uh, in the second item since the bus is empty in the first bus stop. Your task is to return number of people who are still in the bus after the last bus station, even though it is the last stop. Some people don't get off the bus, and they are probably sleeping there. Take a look at, on the test cases. Uh, please keep in mind that the test cases ensure that the number of people in the bus is always greater or equal to zero, so the return integer can't be negative. That's good. Um, all right, so. After that, no examples, not quite sure what they want me to do. Um, for some reason, I had trouble reading through it, so that also contributed to me being a little disoriented about the objective of it for now. So let's go ahead and take a look at these example tests uh, and see what they really want from us. So, okay, we have arrays, or look, that the whole input is just a big array, and it looks like every array inside, so it's a 2D array, array with arrays, and every subarray has two elements in it, uh, two integers. And so going back here, the first integer uh, has zero number in the second item, um, since the bus is empty at the first bus stop. Okay, cool. So all these first ones are zero. And what did the 10 mean again? Um, each integer has two items, the first item, uh, which represent number of people getting into the bus and number of people getting off the bus. Okay, cool. So the first, so each of these are stops. So that's stop one right there, three, five, that's stop two, five, eight, that's stop three. Um, the second test has a lot more stops and the last one has the um, same amount of stops. So the first number represents how many people getting onto the bus. So let's take this first example. There's 10 people who got on the bus and there are people who got off because unless they got on and jumped off because it was the wrong bus, uh, but that doesn't happen in our example. Ten people got on. Um, in the next stop, uh, three people got on and five people got off. In the last stop, five people got on and eight people got off. And if you do the calculations, I guess five is what's left of uh, the people who ended up falling asleep and going all the way to the end of the bus stop. Um, sounds silly, but that does happen. Okay, let's see. So, it looks as if uh, we're just going to have to go through the array first of all and just keep a tally of people getting on, people getting off. And so, um, like we said, we need to go through the array. So, let's start off with the for loop to go through the array. Bus stops dot length and i plus plus and we will get um how about this let's call um so every time we go in here now now bus stops of i is going to represent each one of these little arrays these sub arrays and of the sub arrays we're going we're gonna to know that that first number is people getting on the second number is people getting off so how about we um we better label those so getting get on would be bus stops 
of i of 0. That represents the first number. So um, to make it even simpler, let uh, current stop equal bus stops of i. So that's pretty much what happened there. And you can see how we're just, um, if this makes more sense, if I replace this with current stop, uh, which I'm going to do in a second, pretty much I'm replacing this bus stops or this current stops with this, which is, uh, which is why we're doing this double, which is why this looks like this. Um, don't get confused by that. Pretty much assume that this gets calculated first and then the index of zero at that point. But for clarity, let's uh, change it to that and uh, get off. It's going to be the same thing. but at the first index, which is going to be the second number. And so, um, before we even go through the for loop, let's have some kind of variable saying total number of people. Um, let uh, total, let's just call it total people, PPL. And we'll have it at zero. And um, after, at each stop, we need to mutate that number or we need to onto that number to reflect what just happened. And so uh, we can do get on um, total PPL, total people, plus equals get on. And then right after that, total PPL minus equals get off. And we can see that at the first, um, the first, pretty much the first uh, subarray, the first bus stop, we will be adding 10 people on there and we will be subtracting nobody. And once we get to the second one, we'll be adding three and we'll be subtracting five. And so once that, um, once that keeps happening, we can go ahead and return total, total people. And that should be our answer. Um, okay, cool, let's go ahead and try this guy out. Perfect, that's a lot of test cases. And uh, I'm pretty confident once we submit it, it will pass. So if uh, you enjoyed this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, and um, go ahead and check out my other videos. I have these videos in playlists. Uh, right now, I have uh, level 5, 6, 7, and 8. So thanks for tuning in.